Hello, I'm Kendra Von Esch, and you are listening to my 10-minute daily podcast, Reality Reflections. I bought into what this world said would make me happy. Money, prestige, power. And hey, if it feels good, do it, because life is stressful, so party hard. Do whatever makes you happy. But that didn't quite work out, because I felt even more insecure, full of fear, shame, and anxiety, and never, ever good enough. Then God found me and flipped my reality upside down and transformed my life. And I want this for everyone. So I left my executive career to help others find true acceptance, supernatural peace, joy, and love that only comes from a relationship with God. Here is my reality reflection for today. So how many of you receive love? Like the the true way that it was intended to be given to you. So yesterday we talked about loving those in our lives, doing that little extra something for them. And I did not know what was going to be coming my way. I'm just sitting, praying a little bit in bed while my husband comes upstairs. He's like, I got to get in the shower. Do you need anything while I'm out? I'm like, while you're out, where are you going? He's like, well, I'm going to go to the store because I have a special dinner planned for you. And I was like, what? Not having a clue. And then he comes over, he kisses me on the forehead, and he's like, yeah, so think about it if you need anything. And I'm like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. So he's in the shower, and I just started crying. My eyes filled up. I was crying for like 30 minutes. And if you follow me on social media, you may have seen a post of my face sitting in bed with tears in them because I needed to share how awesome that loving gesture. It wasn't this huge, grandiose thing. I mean, honestly, I'm the one that makes dinner all the time. I also grill. So I know it's not simple for my husband to make a meal. He's got to put some time into, he's got to think about it, put the list together and then make it. And it was wonderful. It was beautiful. We had an amazing night, but receiving that act in my heart just moved me so much. It shocked me. I was amazed, amazed at how I felt so loved from a meal. (laughs) You know what I mean? I knew it was coming from his heart. I knew he wanted to do this. And then he came home with a dozen roses. And I have no vase in this house (laughs) or vase, however you say it. I got rid of them all in a garage sale. Again, we're moving, decluttering. So I used a water pitcher and kind of put them together But you must understand how we look at things like St. Valentine's Day. We kind of look at it like a Hallmark holiday. Like we don't need a day for some thing, someone, (laughs) some culture to tell us that this is how we should love one another. We need to do something special for one another. Excuse me. And that's exactly what flowers are in my mind. And so when he brought those home, I was like, okay, whoa. He's like, well, I saw all these guys coming out of the store with a bunch of roses in their hands. (laughs) But he knows that it's not a big deal to me. But just the mere fact that he got them, and I know he didn't want to spend the money on them. (laughs) I mean, he... What he spent on the dinner itself, we would have spent out eating. I mean, it was pretty, pretty crazy. Okay, I'm sharing all of this because I didn't realize how much that would ever impact me. 
And it may sound so silly. You might be listening to this saying, okay, yeah, ooh, we got dinner, you know, and it's not that big of a deal in your mind, but it really was a, a true act of selfless love. And it really, <laughs> I'm holding it back, you guys. I am about ready to lose it, but it just made me feel so incredible. And I'm saying this and sharing this so that when you think about doing something for someone else that may seem silly and small, you may have no idea how that person will receive that love. Same thing with God. How are you receiving that love into your heart? I mean, this, honestly, I received love in my heart yesterday. It's, of course, still there, but I accepted and received that love. And I think that we need to do that more often with God. For example, when we come to that beautiful altar during Mass to receive the Lord into our mind, body, soul, and spirit. To receive love, which is God, in the Eucharist. How are you prepared to receive that love? Each and every Mass, I get more amazed at what God is truly doing in my heart. How I'm jumping out of bed with a hop, skip, and a jump, getting in the car, can't wait to go see Jesus. And that's because I have not been going to Mass on a daily basis regularly with the projects should probably shift that up. But right now, I feel like I need to be here. And I'm still praying, still reading the readings. I'm just not physically going. And maybe that's why Sunday is even more spectacular, at least these last two. Because it's been so long since I've received him. And his love. We just got to be open to how other people act in our lives to have our own hearts change. Do you know how I always say, I know you know if you listen to me often, but I always say that the more you love someone, they're going to have to love you back. <laughs> it sounds strange. I mean, that's not how it works, right? We can't make anyone love us, but we can surely make them not get in a fight with us. So when someone, I don't know, starts pushing your buttons and you're ready to be like, are you kidding me with this? This is exactly what I'm talking about. I cannot believe you're acting this way or saying this or doing this, whatever. And you could even just make light of it and be like, you know what? Ah, you're pushing my buttons, honey, but I love you so much. And just lean over and kiss him or, him or her. If it's a relative who you don't get along with, a co-worker, you're probably not going to reach over and kiss him or her. <laughs> I would highly recommend you don't do that. <laughs> but you could just ignore and not feed the fire of anti-love. Because that's pretty much what love isn't. Anything that's not patient and not kind is anti-love. So all I know is I received that beautiful gesture, that beautiful dinner from my husband in a way that I don't think I've ever received love that deep. And we can all be that way if we Ask the Lord to open our hearts and to use us to accept love and to give love. 
It's a reminder that all the little small gestures that you do could impact someone like me in a big way. You never know. So pay attention to what God is putting on your heart today. Maybe you've already had two or three ideas of something that you could do for someone that you love. The only difference is doing it. I mean, my husband had to find some time to look up this recipe, do it behind my back. <laughs> you know, it was, I don't know, I, I'm still shocked and it's just a dinner. But not when I really received it as the beautiful love that it was. It was so much more. Okay. Let's go be that love to someone else and ourselves. Maybe you even had a thought of loving yourself today and doing something kind for yourself. I highly recommend that too. It's all about Jesus, others, and you. So let's ask the Lord to open our hearts so that we can give and receive love like we've never experienced it before. With humans on this earth and God and his almighty spirit and love within our souls. I love you all. What an awesome realization. God is love. And we can be love. And that is what the world needs now. Yes, that's a song, but it's true. Let's get out there, be love, find something more with God, and have a blessed and inspired day.